Well, the Premier League season 16 forward slash 17 has officially begun, and what a goal to bicycle kickstart it! It was literally scored by two people. The pair of them made it look like it came choreographed from a 1980s classic kung fu movie. What? Arsenal played two young English centre backs and lost? On the opening day of the season? Guys, over the last seven seasons, Arsenal have only ever won one opening game. What do you expect? Did anyone else get the impression Alexis Sanchez was watching Theo Walcott running towards the ball thinking, why on earth is this guy taking the penalty? Arsenal fans are fuming. If Arsenal was an island, I imagine their fans would be applying for visas to move abroad right now. Hull beating Leicester? No one expected that. Especially not Hull. Managers across the league seem to go with the idea of giving players who played tournament football over the summer a rest for the opening of the Premier League season. It didn't pay off. Play your best players. We were all shocked to see Joe Hart on the bench. Joe was pretty upset by it. It's almost as if Pep had watched some football over the summer and thought, don't trust this guy. Which is the same as all of us, really. Yannick Bellassi has made his move to Everton, claiming it's not all about the money. What? Well, now you've just put all the focus on the money. Last time I saw Bellassi, he was teasing a guy about not having the latest iPhone. Thought it wasn't all about the money. Zlatan, I've waited a long time for you. We've missed you in this beautiful league. With Zlatan, this Man United team, well, this could be, this could be something special. Some teams are gonna get destroyed. Twitter Q&As are dangerous grounds for footballers. Mark Wilson lasted only eight days at Stoke City after slating Mark Hughes' training structure. He's now at Bournemouth. To be fair to Mark Hughes, I imagine he probably didn't let Wilson know where many of the training sessions were. Tottenham, what is with you guys? Christian Eriksen says he wants a new contract and it's pretty clear he deserves a new contract. I'm not a Spurs fan, but we need to keep players like him in the Premier League. Musa Sissoko is still waiting for Real Madrid to sign him. His words were, I hope they will come for me. The 26 year old was relegated with Newcastle last year, but his old boss Alan Pardew is now showing interest to transfer him to Crystal Palace. I wonder when Real will call. Mr. I can keep a clean sheet Barcelona goalkeeper Claudio Bravo is apparently on Pep Guardiola's hit list, making Joe Hart even more upset. I'm done. Oh, but Jose, how are you feeling about Juan Mata now? Did it look better like this or behind my ear? Uh, 